morning. Well, you know, I've been on here before and I've talked about hacks and how you have to be really careful, especially when you are in your first few weeks of program, using all sorts of things to fancy up your food or change it around. You know, get used to the fuelings the way they were made. But some people find that it's difficult to consume all of their lean protein at one sitting. And sometimes even at two sittings. It's amazing, isn't it? You know, you look at the amount and you go, whoa, you know, five or six or seven ounces. That's a lot more than I realized. So one way that can help you if you have issues with that I've got the buttermilk, cheddar, Mediterranean, rosemary, blah, 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 biscuit here. I don't remember the whole fancy name. It's the buttermilk biscuit. And I've mixed it with the water. And I also put an egg in here. And I'm sort of gonna make myself a, an omelet out of the whole thing. And the reason I'm doing this is actually I ended up um, having <clears throat> unintentionally got up a lot later today than I usually do. But I'm still going to keep my bedtime the same time, which is the healthy way to do it. So I may not be up long enough to get all my fuelings and lean and green in otherwise. So I'm going ahead and putting a third of my lean because you can have three eggs so i'm putting one of those eggs in my in with my biscuit let me just put this in the sink so this way i'm having a very hearty breakfast so it's cooking away here kind of spread it a little bit in the pan now, I haven't done this particular thing before, okay? I do pancake a lot of my fuelings, um, you know, ones that other people put in their dash, little, you know, mini dash waffle or you know, griddle or pancake maker. Well, I just mix it up and put it in the old frying pan because it's just simpler <laughs> for me. And uh, although I will say that a nice waffle with those crispy outsides, mm, those are so good. But I don't like having to fool with cleaning it sometimes. It's a lot easier to clean this pan. And you know what? This, this will get crispy outsides. So like I said, I haven't done it before. Um, you know, so it may be a little touchy flipping it. Oh, I remember my father used to make pancakes and he'd flip them, you know, just by doing the pan like this and they'd flip up in the air and turn over, land on the other side. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't think this is the day to start. But anyway, I'll post a picture in the comments um, of the finished product. So just keep in mind, you know, like if you're having trouble consuming all of your lean protein, this is a kind of idea you can do. Or if you're having trouble getting all of your greens down, then, you know, you can do something. I might be able to flip it here. It's, it's getting a little done. Um, you can always put spinach into one of your shakes. Now, I know, you know, you're thinking, oh, that sounds terrible. But you know what? You really can't taste it very much. Ooh, I think I'm going to, okay, it's tearing. Ah! Okay, but let me get this other little, oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm making a mess because my spatula is too big. But let me show you this because it's very promising looking. There, see? That looks pretty awesome. And I love it when I have, a, you know, sort of a, an eggy flavor in something that's, um, you know, cakey or biscuity or bready. 
So if you miss bread or biscuits, this is what I've got in there, mixed with the amount of liquid it called for and with one egg. Anyway, enjoy your day. And this is a hack, but this is a hack that uses specifically what's listed in our Optavia guide so that you are sticking with exactly what you're supposed to eat and not endangering your health journey by fooling with all sorts of other things that you probably don't need to fool with. So stick with the plan as written. Oh, I'm gonna eat, it's done.